How do you think the country got to this point? We spend more than we bring in. Pretty simple. I mean, even for your, your home budget, you can't continue to do that. I just think we are overspending. There are so many entitlements in this country, and uh, some people absolutely need it. But certainly, there, I think there's probably a lot of fat in the budget. What are you looking for lawmakers to do when you are watching what they're doing up on Capitol Hill? What do you want them to do or say? I want them to listen to their constituencies and listen to what people are saying. I think people have to be responsible for themselves as well. You can't wait for somebody else to take care of you. Again, there are a few people that, that need that. And and that's what governments are for, to help those that absolutely cannot help themselves, to keep our country secure. But for the most part, we have to just be frugal. What do you think needs to happen in Washington to get us out of this? Jobs. It, it, you just have to have people working. And that's why we feel good about Vera Bradley. We are continuing to hire. Uh, our business continues to grow. Fortunately, we make a product that people are buying. It's just a circle that continues. So you just have to have jobs. Do you have confidence in the super committee charged with reducing the debt? Oh, I would like to think so. Uh, there are certainly people much smarter than I am about this. And if they choose people because of their skills, uh, I would hope that they would dig down, do their work, come to compromise. You know, it's very rare that someone is 100% right or 100% wrong. I think most of uh, the people I've talked to would love to see government compromise a little bit. Do you think the country will pull out of this? Yes, I'm, I'm very positive. But I, I think it's, um, it's so easy to become a fat cat and get a little bit sloppy about your priorities. But I do believe that this is the greatest country in the world. And I think when people uh, see what is going on and what has to be done, that they're going to come through, definitely. So what has to be done? Frugality, uh, just watch your budgets, prioritize, if you only have a certain, certain amount to spend, prioritize, because you may not be able to have everything you want. We're a very rich country, but uh, you know, don't take anything for granted. What can businesses do to help communities pull through the economic turmoil? Well, if you're a healthy company, giving back to the community that has probably given you so much is certainly always a good idea. And there are always people in a community that need help, um, many not-for-profits that, that are very worthy and very worthwhile to donate money to. And we try to do that because we are very happy and proud to be a Fort Wayne company. Miller says it's times like these where people often get creative. Entrepreneurship is a powerful, tool to help reinforce the economy. When the cheese is moved, some people get a lot of creativity boiling up inside of them and discover that they may have a great idea for a company. And I do think entrepreneurs probably rise to the top more in a, in a uh, recession than at any other time. Because if your cheese is there, chances are you're, you know, you're going to keep nibbling at that cheese. But if it's moved, which certainly it has been lately, you might think of a, a wonderful idea for a company. So what would you say to people who are maybe looking for that next step and not sure what to do as someone who created such a successful business? Education. If you're out of a job, it might be an opportunity to go back to school and take that course that might look good on your resume or might entice someone to hire you. Education is probably the strongest tool as far as economic development because there isn't a 21st century job or not many that don't 
need at least one or two years post high school education. Not that you can't get that on the job, but, but if you could have the skills that an education gives you, you're going to be steps ahead of some other people.